massive football field size drones like this one flying in the stratosphere, beaming down toxic 5G radiation into the earth, into the ocean, into our homes, into our bodies. Sounds like something out of a science fiction nightmare. But as you can see in this HAPS concept image, it's not far-fetched at all. And if the sponsors of the Hawk 30 program, tech giant SoftBank of Japan, defense contractor Aerovironment of California, and Alphabet, the parent company of Google, have their way, that nightmare will become a reality this fall for some Hawaii residents and eventually for much of the world's population. The Hawk 30 program, sponsored by the Research Corporation of the University of Hawaii, wants to use the Hawaiian island of Lanai in Maui County as a launch pad for unmanned drones, HAPS, high altitude platform stations flying at 65 to 80,000 feet, carrying communications relays and transmitting wireless radiation into the air, land, and sea in a three phase program. In the final phase of this surreal plan, small rural Lanai Island becomes a drone manufacturing plant, launch pad, and mission control center to fly massive drones throughout the equatorial belt the drones would add to, and not replace, existing cell towers. Radiation harm is a concern, as one Hawk 30 drone broadcasts the equivalent of 1,800 cell towers, but at a much lower power level. However, power is irrelevant to health effects, except for tissue heating. Thousands of peer-reviewed research studies document the non-thermal effects of wireless radiation on humans and other living things. In some experiments, the lowest power levels caused the most leakage in the blood-brain barrier. An inverse relationship between power and health effects has also been shown. Wireless technology is not made safe by reducing the power. Also, a one and a half ton drone falling from the stratosphere could have devastating effects. Aerovironment built two high altitude drones and they both came crashing down, with one breaking apart in midair as this photo by NASA shows. The FAA approved drone fly zone for this project includes two islands and an ocean expanse right in the middle of a humpback whale marine sanctuary. Lack of good faith on the part of the applicants is also a concern as they built a 16,500 square foot drone hangar to house two drones on agricultural land without public notice and prior to a Lanai Planning Commission meeting. In their use determination application, the drone is repeatedly referred to as an airplane or aircraft, and an airstrip was created when, in Maui County, airports are not allowed on agricultural land. And then there is the loon. A mysterious object was spotted by Maui residents in early August, while at the same time, the Google loon was tracked online, shown here, circling above Maui County for about a week at around 60,000 feet. The loon transmits wireless radiation to the ground, extending signals over 3,000 square miles. This tennis court-sized helium balloon passed right over the designated drone flight strip on Lanai, shown here, maybe to collect weather and wireless communications data in preparation for the drone launch, since the two projects are partnered. Having tech giants Google and SoftBank with their global corporate ambitions at your doorstep would be overwhelming for even the most seasoned and savvy corporate execs. The Lanai Planning Commission, a volunteer body, is ill-equipped to deal with a complex project of this magnitude that has vast implications far beyond the confines of the small island. Final plans are to turn Lanai into a drone launch pad, potentially flying thousands of massive drones over much of the world's population, forming a 5G mesh network for the Internet of Things, while blanketing the Earth in wireless radiation.